A whole other part of the jigsaw when looking at the non-fiction classroom are elements such as my read-alouds. Elements such as when I model and demonstrate, do I just use books? What about visual information? What about calendars? And another is how do children naturally respond to all of this? When I put it all together, how do they respond? Because to me, that's paramount. by Barbara Brenner, illustrated by Carol Schwartz. Thinking about ants. Thinking about ants. Now, here's an idea. For a little while, think about ants. Begin by looking. Get close up to an ant. The Read Aloud is the cornerstone. It's the epicenter of what we should be doing in our classrooms if we want kids to be readers, writers and thinkers of non-fiction. <laughs>